The big thing we're aiming for now in the, nutri in the, in the big long baseline nutrient nutri physics world, which is, a, is the area I've always been interested in, is CP violation. So what we're going to do now in the next generation of experiments is look at differences between matter and antimatter, but in neutrinos. And nobody's done this before. I mean, well, they've done it, but not with the sensitivity uh, needed to actually see any effects. So by looking at the way uh, matter neutrinos travel very, very long distances and change as they, as they go these long distances, and then compare that to, to do the same experiment with antimatter, we expect to see small, very, very small differences. And if we see those small differences, it tells us that matter and antimatter behave differently for neutrinos. And this will be a major discovery. At, at the moment, we don't understand why the, the universe is made out of matter and not antimatter. Um, and this is our best bet, basically, that, 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 that the, the effect that we might be sensitive to in neutrinos could explain why there is matter in the universe. So this really is a major, a major un, unexplored area of, the, of our picture of particle physics, and that's the thing that really excites me. Sadly, it takes you about 15 years to uh, do, do an experiment like this, but it's worth it because it's, it's such a central part of, part of our understanding of, of, of not just particle physics, but, but of the whole universe. Thank you.